Hey, good day everybody. Hey, thank you very much for turning back into my channel. It is greatly appreciated. It's a snowy, wintery day here in Portland. Um, today, what I'm going to be discussing is something that I've been thinking about quite a bit here recently. And that's people that have been convicted of a felony. Now, currently, when you get charged with felony, you lose your rights to vote. You lose your rights to carry a firearm. Now, I... I haven't been able to find it, but I have heard that there are some areas maybe in our country where you're able to vote one more time after so many years post felon. But I do know for a fact that currently, federally, uh, statewide, when you get charged a felon and get convicted as a felon, you lose your rights to brandish a firearm. I also know that if you receive one of these charges of a felon, then it can make it very difficult and very challenging for you to get... Um, a job uh, to get your, say for instance, a cosmetology license or to, you know, in order to do somebody's hair, or give them a facial. It, it makes it very challenging for them to become a paramedic or an EMT, which when in turn make it difficult for them to become a firefighter. So what I've been thinking about very heavily is how can we get these people to uh, become more engaged in society and potentially get their rights back? And so my thought is, is people that convicted of a felony charge that I would consider a lesser charge, that would be like, oh, I don't know, maybe somebody who brandished a firearm, uh, like the guy here in Portland, or got convicted of menacing, um, like the guy here in Portland. And the case I'm referring to, and I can't remember his name right now, but he was downtown Portland a couple years back, Antifa was attacking him, it's clear on the video footage what was taking place. Um, they were attacking him and he pulled out his firearm out of his holster, put it to his side and continued to back away to turn around and walked off, eventually put his gun away and he carried on and then ultimately got arrested by uh, the Portland Police Department. After a court case, he ended up being convicted of uh, menacing a few other charges, ultimately losing his gun rights for the rest of his life and losing his right to vote. And personally, I think that case should not have gone through. He should not have been convicted. But here in the state of Oregon, particularly in the county of Multnomah and the city of Portland, uh, we got a bunch of leftist people who are absolute gun haters. So another, I'm not surprised, let's put it that way, that he ended up getting convicted. I'd love to see the NRA get behind him and appeal this case and maybe get it over, overturned in an appeal. Um, that would put the NRA to some good because lately it doesn't seem like they're out to support gun rights as much as I would like them to do. Uh, they allowed certain things to uh, get on the side of Trump's bump stock ban. And for that to me was the end of the NRA in my opinion. Uh, they NRA in the very past allowed the NFA act to take place. They didn't, didn't oppose it. And so it makes me wonder what the NRA is good for other than for, uh, LaPierre to put more money in his pocket at multiple figures every single year. And let's stop paying these guys such a ridiculous amount with the NRA and actually start using that money to help American citizens get their rights back and get their cases overturned. I'd like to see that take place. Actually stand up and become uncompromising on our gun legislation. But that's a different story for another day. I want to focus on this and that is I've been thinking about these felons who maybe do a minor incident. Uh, Reckless driving, brandishing a farm, fishing out of season here in Oregon is a felony charge. These things would all make you lose your rights to bear arms. Maybe child neglect. Uh, I know some cases of child neglect are very harsh and they need to be dealt with very harsh. Um, uh, but there are others that you get charged. Uh, dr driving drunk, or as Europe calls it, drink driving. Um, that can lead to a felon charge and you losing your gun rights. And so my proposal is let's get our, our politicians, let's get our lawmakers together and find a way that we can establish some sort of law that after these felons serve the time the court gives to them, their time in prison, probationary period, and they've been under the watch of the court, and after a period of time post that, maybe three to five years, we grant these people their rights back and give them the right to bear arms, give them the right to vote again, and let them become an active part of, of society. And with the release of, the, of their felon charge, um, it would in turn make it easier for them to get their jobs. Now, 
I still think they should have to mark the box as a convicted felon, uh, like on a, uh, the, the form 4473 that you have to fill out in order to get a firearm. I still think they should have to check that felon box. I think when uh, a job application comes in, they should have to put a felon that they were convicted as a felon. Um, but I also think that there should be a new box that, yeah, I was convicted of a felon, but now the courts have released me and I've been granted my rights back. And then when a background check comes back in order to purchase a firearm, they get ultimately end up getting cleared. Maybe it takes a little bit longer period of time to get that clear. Maybe not the same day, but they can ultimately get cleared uh, because of this new law that would grant their rights back. And I think this would be a benefit for our society. I was not big on Trump's releasing of criminals. Uh, but in all cases, I, I wasn't there to see all these cases that would ultimately get released um, from prison that, that Trump authorized. But I'm just thinking we should be doing something better to help those who did something stupid maybe early on in their life. And now instead of punishing them for their entirety of their life, and they've been an outstanding citizen since that crime, we should make it so that they can get their rights back. Um, work for it. I don't know. Be a good citizen for a number of years post post crime, but uh, then again, I also would take the stance that if they got convicted of a second felony, then yeah, from there forward they would lose lose their rights. But you know, let's help them to become a member of society once more and giving them their freedoms, the ability to go buy a gun so that they could go hunting with their buddies or ability to buy a gun and go out to a shooting range with their friends and go shooting. Um, give them the right to be able to go vote. I mean, we got an election coming up here in a few months. At this point, I'm not sure who I'm going to vote for because I'm quite upset at Trump over what he's done here recently, letting the ATF run rampant and making people instant felons because they, they own the Origin SBV made by Fostech. He hasn't done enough, as far as I'm concerned, on the Immigration Act, what I'd call the anchor baby. You know, let's write an executive order and lose that anchor baby status. I mean, come on. I mean, there's things he could do that would fix some of our immigration problems. And he, in my opinion, he hasn't quite lived up to his promise to deal with it. Um, so I just, I'm, I'm torn on who I'd vote for. But we got an election coming up, and it would be nice to see that felons who are felons many years ago, would have that opportunity to come back and start voting again to choose who they would want for a president. Hopefully it wouldn't be some leftist fruitcake out there that wants to remove more rights and make this war, this country a socialist state. But, you know, that's my opinion. But anyway, what do you think? What do you think of this proposal? I, I, I'm just been trying to think of a way because I've, I met n a number of felons that I never would have known were a felon. Uh, because they were charged so many years ago, back when they were in their early 20s. Some were charged with drink driving as a teenager, and now they, they're they labeled as a felon. I've met some of these people, and they're outstanding. They're, 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 they're good people. They work hard, and yet they don't get to be able to carry a firearm. They don't get to vote. And I just think that's wrong. We should be able to get these guys back into society. So... Let me know what you think. Put your comments in the in, below. Uh, I will. I would love to hear from you if you think this is a good idea. I'd love to hear from you if you think this is a bad idea. Give me a thumbs up or a thumbs down. Uh, let me know. Just leave a comment. I'd be. I would love to hear what you have to say about this proposal. So, thank you for watching. Uh, I hope you have a great day and God bless.